guys! How you going? Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Happy Friday, if it is Friday in your neck of the woods. If it's not, if it's still a Thursday, well, happy Thursday. Friday is nearly here. Some very exciting and spur of the moment news. I was literally just about to get in my car, go to the gym, and then this news just got dumped. And this very awesome looking photo just got dumped in my feed on Instagram and Facebook. So as we all know, well, most of us know if you are in the realm of superhero news and Superman movie news, Superman Legacy has officially started filming as of this week, most notably today. And it happens to be Superman's birthday. So much so that James Gunn himself has shared a photo of David Corrin Sweat's Superman suit chest emblem. I want to have a quick look at it, talk about it, because I have heard certain things before this reveal that are pretty spot on to what I see in this picture. Now, there was also a few supposed leaked photos of David Corrin Sweat on set in the suit, as you can see right here, that were on TikTok, I believe, which have been proven to be AI and fake. Like, you look at that suit, that is just very AI generated, no texture whatsoever, and it's the complete opposite to what we see in the photo that James Gunn had shared. Now, James Gunn posted this to his Instagram. What I also love is he responds to a lot of comments. Like, the guy could just be not doing that, but he does, and he takes the time to respond to certain questions. Even if it's just like a one-worded answer, we get clarification on like debunking rumors and stuff like that, but he goes on to say, overjoyed to be announcing that the start of principal photography on Superman today, February 29th, which just so happens to be coincidentally an unplanned Superman's birthday. When I finished the first draft of the script, I called the film Superman Legacy. By the time I locked the final draft, it was clear that the title was Superman, making our way to you July 2025. Okay, so also we have a title change. I didn't even realize that. I just quickly skimmed over the caption, but they have gone from Superman Legacy to just plain old Superman, which still works for me as long as the film is fucking amazing. I don't care about the title. It could be called Blue and Red Man. It could be Undies on the Outside Man. As long as the film's good, performances are solid, I'm happy. But we are here to talk about the photo that James Gunn has shared. And we see David Corrin Sweat Superman suit. God, that is hard to say. Try saying that 20 times. David Corrin Sweat's Superman costume chest emblem. Now, they were going for this particular look. We saw it at the table read when the cast and crew were going through the script, that this is indeed the particular chest emblem that they are going for in terms of design. I actually really dig it. It's something different. I still love the classic 90s look and the Christopher Reeve look, but that's just me. But I'm still happy with this. But the rumors that I had heard before the reveal of the suit, or in this case, just the chest emblem, was the term basket weave. A few people that were working on the suit, a few people that had a hand in helping design the suit. And as you can see right here, especially if we go close up on that chest emblem, there is indeed a basket weave texture. And I love just how there are different like sections and stuff like that of the chest emblem. Like it's all separate pieces kind of put together like a jigsaw puzzle. And part of the suit is covered in snow. Could that be because he's in the Fortress of Solitude? That makes sense. Even on the blue portion of the suit, you can see a nice textured weave. I actually really dig it. There's a lot of beautiful information going on here. I like that there's like subtle black shading where the, the, the gold ends and the red starts. I like that it's a nice deep burgundy red. It looks beautiful. It kind of is reminiscent of the Man of Steel suit, but also just something different, like giving me Mad Kingdom Come vibes as well. It is crazy after hearing just the word basket weave from a few people that were working on the costume and then had seen the designs of the costume that this is it. And I'm just keen to see the rest of the suit, um, especially with how Corrin Sweat looks in the suit as well. And his, his physique, no, do no doubt he'll be wearing a muscle suit. Like no matter how big an actor gets for the role, um, you always have to wear a muscle suit. Even The Rock had to wear subtle padding here and there for Black Adam. He did remove some padding, even in the shoulders. Like, fabric, when it hugs the body, it will always kind of mute and soften the muscles. And that's why you need a muscle suit. It just reacts differently to how fabric wraps around. It always makes you look much more muscular. So there you have it, guys. The very first look of David Corrin Sweat's Superman costume. I don't know when the full reveal is going to be. Like, obviously, principal photography is well underway. I'm hoping soon because it's going to get to the point where they're going to be doing a lot of outdoor shots where paparazzi and, and people with uh, camera phones can just go in, take a photo in broad daylight. So I think they owe it to themselves to do a proper reveal very soon before you get those ugly outdoor overexposed exposed shots that isn't in controlled lighting with how the suit is supposed to look. But not only that, we've got a title change. We've gone from Superman Legacy to just Superman. If I'm reading that caption correctly, 
and I'm all for it. Again, as long as the film is damn good, the, the performances are great, I, I don't care what it's called. I'm just really happy we're getting another Superman film, and also I have faith in James Gunn. You know, he has had his ups and downs, but for the most part, he gives a shit about comic book characters and the legacy and the mythology of comic book characters. And also, the cast pr seems pretty on point. I'm keen to see their chemistry, especially when it comes to Clark and Lois. So yeah, guys, let me know down below your thoughts on the first glimpse of David Corrin Sweat's Superman suit. Really digging the basket weave, it's an interesting choice, but we are in that age now of like, overly textured fabrics and chest emblems and gauntlets and belts and I'm all for it, don't get me wrong, I love the Christopher Reeve Superman suit like, and also Dean Kane, where it's just a lycra, a two-way or a four-way stretch lycra. I think it's classic and it belongs in like the 70s, 80s and 90s, but now we have beautiful costuming technology and I think this is a perfect example and really keen for the full reveal. Love you guts and I'll catch you in the next one.